I'm back for round two. The technological gods were not in my favor. And we are talking about Camp Meals Gone Healthy. And I'm Andrea Hallwigner, registered dietitian from HealthStand Nutrition. And I just got back from a family camping trip with two other families. And I thought it would be timely to share with you how our family, as well as two other sort of uh, foodie style families um, that were RVing together, how we survived navigating, having lots of fun, having lots of flavor, but still thinking about health and wellness along the way as well. So I believe there's a way that you can camp and have a ton of fun, but not sacrifice nutrition as well. So join me. I'm going to share four tips about camping survival if you're thinking you'd like to make it a little bit healthier but still of course squeeze in your favorite fun treats and sweets and traditional camp things that you like to make on the fire so before i get into the four tips i wanted to give you one additional tip from what you're going to find in the write-up that i've shared in the link associated with this video it's healthstandnutrition.com forward slash camping. If you want to read the full four tips, you can go there. But I want to add one based on the experience of our last uh, camping trip here. And that is this. Typically, if you are going to be camping with other families, my suggestion is divide and conquer. This was my absolute favorite thing that we did this camping trip. Um, it meant that we only had to think about a couple of meals versus meals for the entire uh, duration of our camping trip. And uh, it got everyone seeing how each family likes to prepare foods a little bit differently and what some of their fa uh, favorite family uh, meals look like. So if you want to um, check out some of what the food photography looked like on my recent camping trip, just scroll down over the last 10 days on my Chocoholic RD Facebook feed and you'll definitely be able to see some of the meals we had there. Um, so here's what the menu looked like. I wrote it down here so I could uh, give you what the supper menus looked like. Each family had to pick um, two-ish meals to prepare for the whole entire group of 12 of us. And uh, what was great about it is um, a lot of them were sort of meals that you could assemble to each sort of picky eater's uh, heart's desire. Um, so we had first night, we had um, my best friend's husband uh, makes a mean lean chili. So he made a giant batch, froze it in Ziploc bags, um, and then popped that into a giant pot and heated it up for day one of camping. We served those with buns and a bunch of raw veggies in depth that were pre-chopped, ready to go. So super easy. If you're into a little bit of prep, always works really well. Here's some of the other meals that we had on our camp trip. We had Vietnamese subs. We had um, pork shawarmas. We had fish tacos, we had chicken fajitas, and we had grilled sausages with tinfoil potato, those nice new potatoes that we were able to pick up um, locally with lots of different grilled veggie options there. So thanks Mabel for watching, welcome back. Yes, back for round two, the technological gods hopefully are in our favor. I don't know what happened, the video froze and uh, I'm glad that we're back here together. So camping gone healthy, my number one tip having just uh, got back with these families was divide and conquer the menu. It is so much more fun. And uh, I know all the kids and adults really enjoyed being able to eat all together on the same menu as well. Okay, I got four other good tips here. And as you're watching the video here, I'd love to know, based on your experience, what healthy types of camping ideas have you done with your family before or friends? Uh, if you've got a good camp recipe, link to it in the notes for us. Or if you've got a good idea on how your family does something ahead in terms of prep, or what you find works really well, I'd love to know in the comments. I know uh, earlier this week, my friend Frances posted her success tip is an electric cooler, decent portable barbecue, a freezer stocked with meal sized portions of pre-marinated meats, add some pre-washed baby potatoes and veggies for grilling, and we eat super well in camp. We've also replaced bacon with maple ham slices, less mess, for our breakfast burritos. So thanks Francis for sharing that. I'm curious with the rest of you watching the video, whether you're watching live or on the replay, how do you survive camping? with just like a little bit of health and wellness added into the mix. 
Um, okay, so here's my four tips, and you can read about it all on the link that I've left you there. It's healthstandnutrition.com forward slash camping if you want a whole copy of uh, the four points I'm going to go through here. Number one is, first of all, invest in some healthy camp equipment. And your equipment might be super simple if you're planning on cooking over open fire. Probably all you need is some sort of a grill that can go over the fire as long as assuming one isn't provided for you with wherever you're at. Um, and number two, you probably just need some tin foil. Um, you can pretty much grill any kind of vegetable in tin foil. I've done everything from carrots to parsnips to green beans to um, peppers, portobello mushrooms, and the list goes on. Every single vegetable grills deliciously. All you need is some olive oil, salt, pepper, tin foil, and you're good to go. Just toss it right onto the open flame on the grill there. And uh, when you're cooking your meat or roasting your sausages over the fire, we've at least got some good veggies covered there for overall wellness. Um, the other thing, if you're starting to get fancier, and I would encourage you to get one of these for home anyways, get yourself a giant grill sheet. It covers your entire barbecue at home, or it covers, uh, you can certainly wrap it in tin foil or not, right on the open flame when you're out camping, or a grill basket. They typically are square, and again, they're stainless steel. They got holes in the bottom, just so you get that beautiful grilled flavor coming through. Um, whether you're doing shrimp or stir fry meats or stir fry vegetables, um, potatoes, all of those things work really, really well with a grill sheet because then it catches everything and you're not going to lose stuff um, into the fire. Um, a popcorn basket is one of our family favorite items to have in terms of healthy camp equipment. And this is so that you're not making that chemical popcorn that's already, I don't know, it's got all those weird things in it um, that's probably not good for your health. So stick with plain seeds, put them in a shaker, popcorn maker over the grill, and just add a little bit of butter or coconut oil, whatever you like to drizzle on top of your popcorn and some sea salt and you're good to go. And the best, best, best popcorn you'll have in your life. Um, so that might be something you want to invest in. Um, mountain pie irons, of course, are so fun. I'd love to know what do you put in your mountain pie makers when you're out there um, camping. In our family, we like to, of course, do standard grilled cheese sandwiches, but we also like to do things like Hawaiian pizzas or spinach and feta cheese, or sometimes it's like brie and fig or any kind of a stronger cheese mixed with either apple or pear or some sort of a fruit works really deliciously in mountain pie makers. So you could try some of those. And then, of course, um, as my friend Francis mentioned earlier here, an electric cooler um, might be something if you're traveling lots, maybe a good addition to your everyday uh, RV, um, truck, um, vehicle that you like to travel with. I'm thinking about getting one. So if you've got experience with an electric cooler, let me know in the comments. I am kind of curious to see uh, how they work and uh, if it's, it's a good investment. So I don't have to deal with ice packs and draining dripping ice in the bottom of coolers that has typically uh, haunted me in the past. So that's kind of my tip number one is invest in a couple of healthy camp equipment items. But again, you can keep it super, super simple and just literally go with tinfoil and I think you're going to be good to go over open flame. Tip number two, prep and pack some fruits and vegetables that travel well. Often fruits and veggies are the ones that get neglected as people are leaving with a bag of hot dogs and white hot dog buns uh, or whatever else for their local camping trip. So I'm gonna encourage you at breakfast, at least, at least, toss in some dried fruit into um, perhaps your oatmeal that you're making um, or on top of cereal if you're having something like that. You might throw in a bag of frozen berries. You can toss right into your pancakes if you're grilling those up on the campfire. And then of course, easy to eat types of fruits that don't require a lot of chopping and tend to travel well are gonna be your best bet. So we tend to travel in our family um, with grapes, plums, apricots over the summer, um, blueberries those types of things, melons, uh, watermelons, of course, really great for hot summer days when we're camping. So let me know in the comments, how do you do your fruits and veggies camping? I'd be curious to know if you've got some good tips on how you squeeze those in to keep everyone a little bit healthier. Now, when it comes to veggies, um, anyone that's traveled on a camping trip with me uh, knows that I will absolutely always have this like infamous massive container of pre-chopped um, raw veggies and typically a couple of containers of hummus and usually like a yogurt dill style dip that I'll whip up beforehand. 
all you need to make that dip is pretty much sour cream, some mayo, a shot of Worcestershire Shire sauce, um, a little bit of onion powder in there, and that's it. Bunch of fresh dill and uh, probably my favorite vegetable dip. Super easy to make and people will eat a lot of vegetables and dip if you've got uh, these already chopped and ready to go. So most of your carrots, your cauliflower, your broccolis um, travel so well. Great tomatoes, snap peas, wash them all, chop them all ahead. You'll be really glad you did because when everyone's a little hangry, waiting for something, you can put those out and uh, everyone in the family will start munching on the good stuff while you're uh, getting the rest of your meal ready. The other thing that we like to do, and I have done this either ahead or again, I might just bring a big container of tinfoil that I'm throwing a whole bunch of different types of veggies in to roast. Um, sometimes I'll do up those little tinfoil packs of veggies ahead of time. And this might be as simple as potatoes, carrots, and onions. It might be uh, something more gourmet, such as, I don't know, toasted almonds with green beans and asparagus and mushrooms or something like that with balsamic crema drizzled on the top if you're wanting to get really fancy. So um, all kinds of vegetables grill well. This is absolutely the way to go for camping. It sweetens them when you uh, get that nice toasty grilled flavor on there. So that is the number one way I would say you can enjoy your veggies. Okay, now tip number three, balance heavier foods with lighter fare. Okay, what I mean by this is I know you probably want to make bacon in the morning if you're um, enjoying a traditional camp style breakfast. I know that you probably will have sausages or hot dogs roasted over the fire. Um, what I'm going to suggest you do is still have those things, but make wrap the healthy stuff all around it so that we're balancing out those meals. Maybe switch your buns to whole grain ones if the family will have those, but if not, at least, at least get lots of your good um, raw vegetables, salads, um, veggies and dip on the side going. And I would start offering those things even before the main part of the meal is ready because that's when people are hungriest and that's when they're gonna eat the most of them. So sometimes it's the order of when you serve those things that's more important than anything. Um, I'd also encourage you instead of getting like more like potato chips with all different types of flavors, we can wrap more nutrition around a traditional plain um, corn tortilla chip Look at your ingredients. If it's pretty much corn, oil, and salt, you're good to go. Um, and then pair that up with some, whether it's pre-bought guacamole or bring some avocados and mash them up um, and some salsa. And at least, again, we've got some good nutrition coming into a traditional um, savory snack choice that the kids might be enjoying. So tip number four, enjoy healthier snacks and desserts. So one of my absolute favorite desserts to make on open flame, whether that's a barbecue or whether that's um, out camping is grilled pineapple slices. So, so delicious. Um, a pinch of brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon on there um, caramelizes that yummy pineapple. So it makes a really fun dessert um, that you can do. Um, you can also make what I call a healthier banana boat. So tip, if you've never made a banana boat before, this is one of the things you've got to try, especially if you're a chocoholic like me. So take your whole banana, leave it in the peel, cut it, um, open it up just enough that you can poke all of your ingredients in and try just about anything in here. Of course, I like to use some sort of delicious chocolate pieces within the banana boat. Um, sometimes I'll put nuts such as like ground hazelnuts or peanuts in there. And then you can do things like coconut. Um, you can get kind of crazy with whatever you want to stuff in your banana boat, but then wrap that all up um, in tin foil. And then you just grill that on the fire until it becomes all warm and uh, melts all together. And uh, you just literally unravel it and eat it with a spoon. Very delicious. So let me know if you like banana boats. Traditionally, they're made with marshmallows, but I think they're pretty good on its own as long as you put a little chocolate in there. <laughs> so that's what I would go with. Um, what other kind of healthy snacks do I have for you here? Well, traditionally around the campfire, I know people like to snack on something savory often. And so what I'm going to encourage you to do here is if you're snacking on nuts, get the kind that you actually have to, to shell. Because you can imagine how many handfuls of sunflower seeds you can eat if you're not shelling them. So instead, get the pistachios, get the... Um, um, peanuts um, in the shell, the pumpkin seed, whatever that you can kind of shell open really works really well over open fire because it gives you something to do and it's very tasty and you can toss the shells right into the flame. So 
try that out. The other thing that you can try as a healthier dessert or even as a breakfast works really fun um, for the family around the fire is a baked apple. So pretty much take your whole apple, core the inside and just kind of dig that core part out, um, but leave a little bit on the bottom because we want to stuff that cored apple with uh, something like a little pat of butter, a little bit of granola tends to work quite nicely in there. And then you just, again, you can either put that right on uh, open flame or you can wrap it in tin foil if you want to kind of keep it a little um, softer and just wait till it gets all nice and soft and delicious. Um, one of the fun things to make on the fire. So that is a couple of ideas. And then as we get into August, when peach season is into play, oh my gosh, if you've not had a grilled peach over um, the barbecue or uh, while camping, you have not lived in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do to grill a peach, pretty much just slice it in half, keep the skin right on. You can brush it with a little bit of oil. You can grill it, cut side down, um, just enough to make it a little bit soft and savory. Um, so, so delicious. And if you're going super gourmet, what you can do is fill the inside of that grilled peach with a bit of mascarpone cheese with a little bit of honey and cinnamon. Honestly, I think that's probably one of my favorite desserts on the planet. Outside of chocolate, of course. <laughs> so I'm hoping these four tips added a little bit of maybe one or two new different ideas to add into your next camping trip. But again, I'd like to know in the comments, what do you do when you're camping to add a little bit of health into the mix? Do you have something, a favorite vegetable you grill? Is there something you prep ahead? Is there something that you like to do um, there that's super fast and easy and still nutritious? I'd love to know in the comments. And again, I'm Andrea Hallwagner, registered dietitian from Health Stand Nutrition. If you'd like to learn more about all the different healthy eating tips that we're coming up with every week, I'd encourage you to come on to our newsletter list. It's healthstandnutrition.com. And you're going to see at the very top of the page there, you can subscribe to receive our free weekly newsletter, where we always have a healthy recipe of the week. Um, you always get links to videos that I'm doing each week on a variety of topics. And of course, uh, all of our health and wellness tips um, coming out every week. So until next week, signing off for now and wishing you a healthy, happy summer glamping slash camping vacation wherever you might be off to. Take care.